Hey, Mac users! Are you suddenly seeing tons of ads or noticing that your browser's acting strange? If your answer is yes, you might be dealing with option flow adware. In today's video, we're going to dive into what this sneaky little program is, how it ends up on your Mac, and, most importantly, how to get rid of it. So, let's jump straight into it. So, what is option flow? Well, option flow is a type of adware basically. A program that's more annoying than dangerous, but still something you definitely don't want hanging around. It's designed to sneak onto your Mac without you even knowing it. And once it's there, it can turn your browsing experience into a nightmare. We're talking about changes to your search engine, your homepage being hijacked, and every website you visit being flooded with ads. And here's the kicker those ads aren't just random. They're designed to make money for the creators of Option Flow. Sometimes, these ads even try to trick you into downloading fake updates or push you toward shady tech support services. But how does Option Flow find its way onto your Mac? It's not like you installed it on purpose, right? Well, that's exactly what makes Adware like Option Flow so sneaky. It often comes bundled with other software, especially free downloads or those tempting serial crack programs. During the installation process, Option Flow gets a free ride onto your system. And sometimes, it's as simple as clicking on a misleading pop-up ad or following some sketchy instructions online. Before you know it, Option flow is in, and your Mac isn't what it used to be. Now, don't sweat it, we've got a solution for you. Let's walk through the steps to remove Option Flow Adware from your Mac, so you can get back to enjoying your browsing experience. There are four main steps to remove adware from your Mac. Step 1. Remove Doubtful Profiles. To remove doubtful profiles, go to the System Preferences by clicking Apple Logo at the top of your Mac menu, as shown in the screenshot. Search for Profiles icon in System Preferences section. However, don't worry if you can't find the Profiles icon. That means there is not any infection in this section. Thus, you can relax and ignore the Step 1, and follow the Step number 2 directly. But if you can find Profiles icon there, as shown in screenshot, then click on that. Once you click on Profiles icon, you will be landed on the window like this. As shown in the screenshot, select Unknown or Doubtful Profile and then click on Torstur button to remove the profile. If you can't find any Profiles icon as mentioned in Step 1, just follow the Step 2 directly. Step 2. Quit, find, and delete doubtful programs related to adware. Firstly, check the menu bar of Mac. If you find any unknown program's icon there, right-click the icon and then click Quit. After that, click on Finder on the bottom menu, Dock, of your Mac, as shown in the screenshot. Once you click on the Finder icon, that will lead you to the Finder window, where on the left side menu you will find Applications as shown in the screenshot. After that, search for the unknown or doubtful app within Applications window. When you find the doubtful app, Right-click on that, and then click Move to Trash on the drop-down menu, as shown in the screenshot. Step 3. Find and remove files and folders related to adware. Firstly, make sure you are in Finder folder. If not, then follow the steps as mentioned in step number 2 to go to the Finder folder. Once you are in Finder folder, click on Go at the top menu bar of your Mac, and then Go to Folder on the drop-down menu, as shown in the screenshot. Once you click on Go to Folder, you will find pop-up window as shown in screenshot, where you should type these file paths and then should click enter. Once you enter by typing library chokshars launch daemons, launch agents, application support and so on file paths as shown here, you should look for suspicious malicious files and move them to trash. Few example of such malicious files are as shown here. Note, adware usually puts many files with the same string. Step 4. Clear browser's history and cookies. Reset browser settings and remove or disable unknown browser extensions to be safe from adware. Once you delete the harmful files as mentioned in Step 3, you should delete malicious or unknown extension from your browsers like Safari, Chrome, Firefox, Opera, and so on, whichever you are or were using. You should also delete browser history, cookies from your browser, and need to reset your browser. Note. Before you reset your browser setting, it is always a good idea to back up your bookmarks. Method to delete history. 
cookies and malicious extensions from Safari browser and reset it. Clear browser history and cookies in Safari. To do it, open Safari, click on the history at the top Apple menu, and then click clear history on drop-down menu. After that, a pop-up window will appear. Select all history there and then click on clear history. Delete malicious extension in Safari browser. In order to do it, open Safari and click on Safari at the top Apple menu. Then click Preferences on drop-down menu. After that, click on Extensions, and select the malicious or any suspicious extensions, then click Uninstall. Empty caches of Safari browser. To empty caches, again go to the Preferences window as mentioned earlier. There, click the Advanced tab and then check on Show Features for Web Developers. That will add Develop on top Apple menu, click on that, and then click on Empty Caches. Reset Safari browsing data. In order to do it, click Privacy on Preferences window, and click on Manage Website Data. Next, in a new window, click Remove All and then Done. Set default search engine for your Safari. To do it, once again go to Preferences window and click on Search icon. Make sure there is your desired search engine listed, such as Google, for us. Set default homepage for your Safari. You have to go to Preferences window once again to do it, where you have to click on General icon. Under General tab, make sure there is your desired web address listed as your default homepage, such as google.com for us. Method to delete browser history and cookies from Google Chrome browser and reset it. Clear browser history and cookies in Chrome. In order to do it, open Chrome browser and click on the history at the top Apple menu and click show full history on drop down menu. Next, in a new tab of Chrome, you will find history page. On history page, click clear browsing data on the left hand menu, which will lead to a pop up window where you have to click on advanced and select all time. Check on all kinds of history and cookies there and then click on Clear Data. Reset Chrome Settings. To do it, open Chrome Browser and click on Chrome at the top of Apple menu. After that, click on Preferences on the drop-down menu, which will lead you to the Settings page. In Settings page, click on Reset Settings at the left-hand side menu, and then Restore Settings to their original defaults. Once you do it, a pop-up window will appear where you have to click on Reset Settings button. Method to delete browser history and cookies from Opera Browser and reset it. You can follow these steps to find out how to reset Opera Browser settings, as well as delete the browser history and cookies. Clear browser history and cookies in Opera. To do it firstly open Opera Browser and then click on History at top of the Apple menu and click Show All History on drop-down menu. After that, click on Clear Browsing Data. When pop-up window appear, click on Advanced, select All Time and click Clear Data button, as shown in the screenshots. Reset Opera Browser Settings. To do it, open Opera Browser, click Opera on top Apple menu, and click Preferences on drop-down menu. When Settings page appear, scroll down and click on Restore Settings to their original defaults. After that, pop-up window will appear, where you have to click Reset button, as shown in screenshot. Method to delete browser history and cookies from Firefox browser and reset it. You can follow these steps to delete the history and cookies and reset the Firefox browser. Clear browser history and cookies in Firefox. As shown in the screenshot. First of all, open Firefox and click on history at the top of Apple menu. After that click on clear recent history. Select everything on pop-up window and then click on clear now. Reset aka Refresh Firefox Browser Settings In order reset or refresh Firefox Browser Settings, firstly, you have to click on Breadcrumb menu at the top right corner of Firefox. After that click on Help and More Troubleshooting Information. Once you do that, click on Refresh Firefox button. And then again, Refresh Firefox button on pop-up window as shown in the screenshot. Now you know how to remove adware from your Mac. So, Let's work together to make people aware of adware, malware, and viruses. You can spread the word to your friends and family by sharing this adware video through your social media accounts to keep them informed. You can find anti-malware, anti-adware, or antivirus programs in App Store to remove adware easily. But we recommend you to learn the manual way as mentioned earlier to remove adware. Because there is no guarantee that such programs can update for latest adware on time. If the latest adware attack your device, and if those programs are not up to date, then you must remove them manually. 
So, we don't recommend particular anti-malware, anti-adware, or anti-virus program. But you can find lots of such programs in App Store by searching terms like adware, or malware, and so on. We hope we've helped you keep your Mac safe from adware. Remember to like, share, and subscribe our YouTube channel. Good luck.